Chances are flowers are blooming in your backyard. And if you're like me, you like to snip a few of them off and bring them inside to bring a pop of summer indoors. And joining us to help make the best of your garden blooms is co-owner of Armful of Flowers, Kelly Glover. And you have such a beautiful display here. Thank you so much. We are so excited to be here today, Heather. Thank you for having us. And you're so right. There's so many gorgeous things that you can find right in your own backyard. And you can make something as beautiful as this arrangement right here. Um, and you know what yeah. I've noticed too is that you use, when, when you're putting mm -hmm. yours together, a lot of green. And this yes. is the stuff you've already set up here. Mm -hmm. These are things you can find in your backyard. Absolutely. Want. Cut some branches from your tree. Find a bush outside. Whatever you can find. Um, this solid dago you can find on the side of the road. There's all sorts of beautiful things. We like to use um, this foliage here to kind of make our shape. Um, you want to go outside. Harvest everything you can find. Put it in some water. Let it sit for a little bit. And then go ahead and start arranging. And so, so you're just yeah. kind of like spreading this out to be the, the exactly. filler almost on the outside of this. 100%. So you yeah. want to kind of go for more of that wildflower look, have it kind of overflowing, add your fillers in, and then you want to start adding your accent flowers. For me, I like to add something a little bit airy on the outside that really kind of gives it a little bit of fun character. And what is this? This is so cute. So this is called a scabiosa. We actually harvested it right from our farm. Doesn't beautiful. it just add some kind of like beautiful, yeah. fun... And these texture. Are, look how cute these little flowers are. Yes. They're quirky. I know. And you can go ahead and kind of harvest anything that kind of has this kind of feeling and texture to it. Cosmos are really great for that as well. I'm going to move on to something a little bit longer, though. Um, these are called Larkspur, and we um, grow these right on our farm up on Mount Washington. However, you can use something like lavender, and it kind of just like elongates the arrangement a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and start adding some accent flowers with pops of color. Now, this is something that I've seen yeah. on your Instagram page, but tell me what these flowers are. So these are called ranunculus. We actually harvest them right from our farm. Oh, how they have these gorgeous pops of color, and they really just kind of start pulling together that arrangement. You can really kind of see all of the beautiful colors that are coming together here. You can use Cosmos, Zinnias, um, Black Eyed Susans, anything from your garden you can substitute for those. Well, these are so playful, too. Yeah. I love how cute... I keep using cute. They're but they cute. are. They really <laughs> they are remind cute. me so much of Alice in Wonderland. Yes, you know? <laughs> and there's so many different colors and textures, and that's what's so fun. There's no right or wrong way with flowers. You can find anything in your backyard. I'm starting to add some focal flowers here, like this sunflower. So when you say focal flower, yeah. that is going to be like the middle, the, the thing that draws your that's eye right, in. That's right. Like this bad boy right here, a uh, nice, beautiful peony. It is peony season, season, folks, so I highly recommend cutting those peonies out, bringing them inside, and look at that. It just brings that whole arrangement together. So even here in just a couple of minutes we've added green and and kind of I don't I know none of these are weeds here yeah. but even if you do have like those long stemmed absolutely anything filler. from a field somewhere mm -hmm. I mean really just go outside have some fun there's no right or wrong way flowers look beautiful no matter what and so again I know we've done a feature on armful of flowers before but you guys are located in Mount Washington yes. in in a backyard that's really. right yeah just a nice little half acre lot we're so happy to be up there the community um, is just so welcoming to us we're doing like really fun um, farm to table workshops this year. Um, we even are offering um, beautiful harvest buckets that you can purchase from our farm, either subscription or individually, where you can bring these types of flowers into your home and make your own arrangement if you don't have access to that in your backyard. And I know when you guys launched, and I'm sure that you'll do it again this summer, yeah. you can come in and pick your own armful of flowers. That's kind of That's how the right. name got, got it, or the, your business got its name. Absolutely. The essence is that feeling one gets when you harvest your own hard work from your own backyard or even from your own local farmer's market. Um, we really strive to have people feel pride in that. So for sure. Awesome. This looks beautiful. And David, I really thought this was going to be complicated, but as you can see, it really is so easy. You get your fillers, your focal flowers, and you can throw it all together. So I think this would be super fun and easy for even us to try. One no, day. I think we could do this. Yeah. Well, and seeing it come together like that makes it so much easier because you understand what you're doing. So that was great. All right. Well, I'll be back inside soon. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Bring us some flowers.